going to start cleaning up the canopies. So they've got not only the clear parts, but there's frames and uh, pieces to go into the clear parts. These two, I'm going to have to, they got the center seam line going down them. It's pretty shallow, but it's still got to be taken out because it's not part of the uh, actual aircraft. So what I'll do is I'll just scrape, scrape, scrape it down a bit and then come in with different grades of sanding sponge and then I'll polish it with uh, Tamiya polishing compound and then I will dip it in the uh, clear but the other ones are okay so that's good I've started masking I mentioned about using the using that I'm, I don't want to sit there cutting all that out I just use Tamiya tape put it on and you can see this old portable fluorescent light uh, this isn't going to work because it's going to blind the camera apart I put the tape on and if you put that light behind the clear part you will see the frame and then just get a sharp blade and you just cut it out and that's just as well it's quicker for me than cut, trying to cut out that template on that uh, masking sheet I've made up the sparrows and the sidewinders the sparrows were pretty easy so it's just a solid one piece body and you just got to add uh, the rails and uh, four fins the sidewinder is uh, more parts because the, the rear end of the rocket is compatible with the other style of sidewinder that's on the spruce but this version of the Phantom is using the AIM-9G so it's got a different head so it's split in two parts uh, and same you got to add fins so I'll clean them up but I'll have to give them a shot of primer see if there's any seam line still to uh, go back over and clean up uh, I've put the front or I put the instrument panel coming on and I've put the windscreen section in and put some that's uh, white tack putty in there to stop when I spray it doesn't get into the clear part on the inside I also sprayed some black inside before I put this piece in just in case you can see through the front and see a bit of clear grey or not clear grey the grey styrene uh, so just to make sure that's not visible and uh, last time I mentioned I was going to spray some jet exhaust on the metal part I've done that so you can see it's a bit dirty looking now uh, I've given it a clear coat so I need to mask off the metal area now to proceed with the painting okay all primed up uh, I've checked over cleaned up anywhere that I still had a seam line showing I had a couple on the leading edges of the wings so I had to sand back and uh, prime again and then put in the panel line that runs around the leading edge so it's time for painting so as mentioned this is the scheme I'm doing so it's going to be the grey over the white with the black spine uh, I'll start with the white so in the era of aircraft where the uh, control surfaces were white on top and bottom and uh, these phantoms the uh, rear stabilizers are white on the outer edges and this one is 
has the uh, white nose as well and the rudder uh, and then once that's done I'll mask off the white and then do the grey and then I'll do the uh, black spine last uh, the walkways I'll probably mask and paint them in it's be better than decals look better okay before I get into the grey I thought I'd just show you quickly I sprayed the white in I've kept the pre-shading showing through a bit to give it a, a grubby dirty look like a well used aircraft uh, I painted the whole nose obviously that's going to be masked off on the top there'll be a V in the nose that will be black I just to be sure I get white as far as I need to I hate doing where you spray where you think and then you go back and oh, that wasn't enough you're going to go back and do it all again uh, I use this for the white uh, it's lacquer I'm having a very hot day so lacquer sprays better and although this is ready to go from the bottle I still thin it I'm still thinning it probably 60% oh, thinner to paint and also that helps build up coverage when you want pre-shading to show through if you gradually build it up that way you're not uh, covering up all your effects and I've done everything else that's supposed to be white so that's the wingtip uh, and I've done where is it? You grab it. So all the drop tanks. I just saw a spot on there that I touch up again. Uh, yeah, so I've given that. That's had a gloss clear coat. So now I can mask off and now I can spray in the grey. 